Hello, I'm Ian Wright, Manufacturing Editor for Engineering.com. I'm here to talk to you about Shining 3D's EinScan series of 3D scanners. Shining 3D's EinScan series of structured white light scanners aims to fill the niche of affordable desktop 3D scanners for hobbyists and professionals alike. The EinScan SE, or Elite model, is designed for non-technical users, while the EinScan SP, or Platinum model, is designed for those with more robust requirements. To compare the two models, we ran both on a Core i7-6700 desktop running Windows 10 Home, with 16GB of DDR4 RAM and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. The two scanners operate very similarly, sharing a common software platform that allows users to perform both auto and fixed scanning, as well as some basic post-processing. Our test subject for comparing auto scans was a 6-inch model of Mr. Fantastic from Marvel's Fantastic Four. We chose this model because its dimensions fit well within the scan volumes for both scanners. It included some relatively fine details, such as wrinkles in Mr. Fantastic's costume, and it featured both light and dark colored regions, allowing us to test the scanner's abilities to capture color. We scanned Mr. Fantastic with and without color using both scanners. The SP performed notably faster than the SE in both cases, at 2 minutes and 45 seconds and 1 minute and 26 seconds respectively. The SE took nearly twice as long, at 4 minutes and 10 seconds and 2 minutes and 49 seconds. In addition, the SP captured more points, averaging approximately 600,000 in a single 2-minute auto scan, compared to the SE's 575,000 in twice that amount of time. Our test object for fixed scanning was the Office Oscilloscope, which we chose for its size, complexity, and the reflectivity of its screen. As you can see in the renderings, this shows why it's important to add a matte coating to reflective surfaces before scanning them. Once again, we tested color and non-color scans for both models. Scanning time was more difficult to gauge given the need to manually reorient the object or scanner, but once again the SP seemed to scan considerably faster than the SE. However, what really set the SP and SE apart in this instance was the addition of the simple, stick-on targets that come packaged with the SP. Without them, the scanner's alignment is determined by features on the scanned object. It's an impressive capability, but not without its issues. Still, both scanners were surprisingly easy to use, especially for a non-expert like myself. If you're a maker looking for a desktop scanner to complement your new 3D printer, you should consider the EinScan SE. However, if your 3D scanning needs fall more towards the professional end of the spectrum, the extra investment of the EinScan SP is worth considering.